Today, students are creating parade floats because we read the book Balloons Over Broadway, and it's the story of the puppeteer Tony Sarg, who is the creator of the balloons that you see that fly in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade every year. And we thought we'd rather do a parade float with a box. And so I introduced the book and some videos to every class. And you'll see some students taping matchbox cars to the bottoms of boxes to get them to move. That was one of the ideas. And it's a really nice literature and, and STEAM connection. And STEAM is the science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics all rolled into one. The whole school is participating. Some of them are participating with buddies. So fifth grade is working with second and fourth is with first, but other kids are just making their own. We've been collecting boxes and they also were allowed to bring things from home. And I work at Lake Superior Elementary also, and the third and fourth grade are doing it there too. So it's growing. And next year we hope to have bands. <laughs> the things that I like to work on with students is the idea of the planning and the creating and the designing and then improving and there is an assignment where when they finish today they go in and they record themselves and I created the assignment so that they go in and they they take a picture of what they made and they talk about how they could improve it and make it better they make a video of that a recording of that and then they can continue to work through that process and make and improve it's exciting I mean when you walk into the room and you just hear the buzz, there's not one kid who is not involved and excited and getting into the creating and the making. And it's so important that they have their hands on things and that they're working on all of those skills that we need in our craftsmen and our, you know, people who, we need plumbers, we need builders, we need all of those. Kinds. So anyway, so that's one of, the, one of my goals. Because we go up to students and we say, they say, well, we want to do this. And we say, well, how could you do it? and give them some time to really process that rather than telling them how to do it and doing it for them. I hope everybody had a good time. I hope it was a good learning experience. And let's be nice to Miss Kim and Mr. Blake and make sure that we leave no trace. Good job, everybody.